Hello, welcome to Raw Vegan Rising. My name is Shane Sterling. In this video, I wanted to talk about three reasons why we should avoid cooked food. And the reason I care about this is because I have a different version of how I want to see humanity. You know, I I think that I'm gonna just say it. I'm, I'm someone who feels like I'm a light worker, like a light bringer, like, uh, a way shower, someone who sees a different possibility for humanity. I don't know if everyone feels like they're that, but I do, and I always have felt that way. And so my purpose here and my mission and what motivates me and what inspires me is to really get clear on what the vision for humanity is. What is it that, where should we go? What is it that we should be doing? Um, so these are things that have really uh, sparked the, the passion in my life and it's what I think about constantly. So I'm here on this video to talk about why we should avoid cooked foods because I believe that cooked foods are one of the reasons that humanity is struggling. I think, believe that we have lost our way with cooked food addiction. I believe that, that the, the numbing and like mental and emotional um, satiating quality that cooked foods have have completely addicted our species and we've forgotten what we really should be doing which is partaking in the vibrance and abundance of mother nature just as mother nature creates it for health and vitality so part of the reason why humanity experiences disease and degeneration and I believe even the emotional problems that we experience is because we've been on this addiction and in our addictions for thousands of years, tens of thousands of years, hundreds of thousands of years. So we can correct those addictions. We can correct the mistakes. And I know that's a big conversation. I know a lot of people have a lot of different opinions about that. Some people say that we've evolved to where we are because of cooked food and that our brain is different and bigger because of cooked food. I absolutely don't agree with that perspective. I believe that what has made us different has harmed us, if anything. We are a violent species, we exploit, we're emotionally disconnected, we're out of balance with nature, we're out of balance with the harmony and the natural law of the universe. And we experience the, the um, problems because of it, and namely disease, and I'm gonna talk about that in this video, the three reasons why we should avoid cooked food. Because, um, we don't want to be diseased. You know, we don't want to live a life where we're constantly in a state of degeneration and pain and discomfort and the image of the elderly being hobbled and wrinkled and on walkers and canes. That is a construct of our own doing. That is not how human vitality looks. We can be vital, active, engaged, mentally acute right up until the moment we die. And that would uh, that would come from being in balance and harmony with the laws of nature, which includes the way we eat. So I'm going to just um, go over my list here. Three reasons why we should avoid cooked food. And these are scientific reasons. This is scientific based. I've done some research on this. I absolutely love research. I have correlated this information, collected this information just for this video. This is all science based and I will give um, sources if I have them here. Okay. So number one, and you might not have heard of this, it's called leukocytosis. And leukocytosis is basically a high white blood cell count, which is an immune response. And it's an inflammation. So that means the cooked food is treated by our body like a foreign substance, like a virus. The immune cell, white blood cells are created to go attack the cooked food. It's a foreign substance to our body. So leukocytosis is actually something that proves that cooked food harms our bodies. Number two is heating oil creates cancer and heart disease. So that's when we heat any oil. That's when we heat plant oils or animal oils. So by cooking foods, and most foods have oils in them, we are creating cancerous oxidized uh, food for our body, which creates disease. And um, this was proven by Dr. Fred Kumaro, who um, has published his findings in the American Journal of Cardiovascular Disease. And he reviews his life's work of 60 years on this topic. 
and he finds that heating oil and the oxidized effects of heating oil is the primary cause of heart disease. Now, you can look that up in the American Journal of Cardiovascular Disease. So again, another reason why heating our food causes disease and is hard for our body. All right, and number three, sorry if the light, I got this light spot right here. Number three is acrylamides. Acrylamides cause cancer and acrylamides are um, noted on cancer.gov as being uh, attributed to cancer, proven to cause cancer. So you can go to cancer.gov and type in the search acrylamides. I've looked through all the acrylamides uh, information for myself and acrylamides comes from browning our food. When we toast or brown like french fries or meat and um, to roasted vegetables, um, any kind of barbecuing, that browning that happens on the food, that is acrylamides. And acrylamides are absolutely proven to cause cancer and it's even recommended by the US government that we avoid all acrylamides to avoid cancer. So when we heat our food, we brown our food. When we brown our food, we're eating acrylamides and it causes disease in our body. So those are three major reasons why heating our food and cooking our food destroys the food and becomes uh, toxic to our body. So we can correct these mistakes. We're in this together. I'm here to be a voice of reason, a voice of balance and harmony with Mother Nature. I want to shed light on where humanity has a blind spot. And that's what I'm doing. I'm bringing the, the information, I'm bringing the light forward to, sh to um, you know, to shine the light on the darkness. Okay, so, you know, I'm here for all of you. I'm in this with you. None of us are different. We're all in this together. I am here in support of humanity. I'm here in support of the message of health. I'm here in support of the message of raw living foods for vitality. And thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more, and I will see you in the next one.